So, firstly, thank you so much for uh, this opportunity. Uh, do you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for your opportunity to uh, engage uh, our heritage with the, with the world and uh, to share our heritage and our concern about the heritage and our problem with the worldwide. Uh, my, my presentation is about the crisis of the local identity of Basra city. Okay. So, uh, firstly, I want to talk about the history of the city. Maybe I suppose most, uh, some of you don't have heard, don't heard about uh, Basra. And maybe some of you uh, heard about it and know about the history of the city. Uh, Basra is the first city built uh, by Muslim out of the Arabian Peninsula. It's about uh, 1400 years ago. Uh, and it also it was the uh, uh, famous educational and cultural center in the, in, the, in the Iraq and in the Arabian at that time. And uh, the, po the, the poetry, the poetry festival was called which called al marbad uh, was held every year in basra city uh, the mosque of the city uh, was the third mosque uh, built by muslim by islam after uh, uh, the two main uh, mosques uh, the first one in uh, in, in makkah mosque that are called al kaaba and the second one in al medina uh, al munawwara called the Prophet Muhammad Mosque, both of them in Saudi Arabia. The third one is the Basra uh, uh, Mosque, where, and as we see, this is all the, all the still, just the minaret is still existing now, uh, uh, which called now uh, Imam Ali Mosque, uh, since it was the uh, headquarters of, the, of his army during Al Jamal uh, battles. That happened 1400 years ago, and uh, he mentioned this uh, minaret in one of his say uh, when he talked about the future. He said, "I imagine this uh, minaret look like uh, uh, ships mast in the choppy sea." Uh, and uh, uh, this is the, the 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 about the mosque. Is, uh, in addition to the mosque, there are many other landmark and. Uh, shrines and uh, uh, mosque and other heritage building in Basra city, uh, such as, for example, this uh, for Al Hassan Al Basri shrine, and it has a unique style of the minaret. It is a very distingu distinguishing uh, style of the minaret. And also, this uh, pictures for Al Zubair ibn Al Awam shrine, and this one called Talha ibn Khuwaylid shrine. Both of them, there was very close to a uh, close friend for the uh, Prophet Muhammad, and they uh, killed in the same battle of Al Jamal battle. And also, there is another shrine, uh, for example, Al ibn Jawzi and Al Maqam. And in addition, there is uh, some other landmark, for example, Adam tree and the all the stories said this is the trees uh, growth by Adam when he coming down to the earth uh, from the heaven. Uh, we, if we talk about the location, Basra is located at the in south of Iraq. It's uh, the only seaport for Iraq on the on the on the Arabian Gulf and. Uh, uh, it's located at the in south of Iraq, and it's border with uh, uh, three countries: Iran from the east, and uh, uh, Kuwait from the uh, south, and uh, Saudi Arabia from the south uh, west. Uh, this locations give Basra many uh, important also because it is also the uh, second uh, city after the capital of Baghdad that related to the populations and uh, related to the importance and uh, 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 related to the uh, location on the, on the on the Iraq it is the only uh, seaport as I mentioned and uh, according to that 
Basra is the only uh, city have a diversity in the built environment. There are more than three uh, main built environment, different built environment in Basra city. The first one at the north of the Basra city, it is the marsh, the land marsh. And the second one at the, at the, at the, at the west of the Basra city, it is called Azubair. It is the old city of Basra. Uh, we talk about it. It's called Azubair. It is a desert land. And uh, oh, the, the third one is the city center of the Basra city, as we will explain on the next uh, slide. Uh, at the south of the Basra, it is the uh, palm uh, trees, palm forest. There is, Basra is famous by, by the palm uh, trees. It was the first city uh, in Iraq by the palm trees uh, more than 50, 50 years ago. And as I said, at the east, there is a uh, called Ashat al-Arab and then uh, Iran uh, in the next uh, uh, bank of, the, of this uh, river. Uh, the first built environment is the marsh, is at the north of the Basra, as I mentioned. And it has a unique style, style of architectural style, and it has also unique and uh, very different and existing uh, lifestyle. Uh, for example, uh, this is the, uh, the house. Oh, firstly, I want to start from this. This is the planning of the neighborhood on the marsh. By the way, Basra is the marsh of the Basra is uh, located as uh, listed in the uh, world war, uh, listed uh, world heritage list uh, maybe four or five years ago. And this is the plan of the neighborhood, and we can see how is uh, the, the location of the houses and the relation between each others. And of course, this is uh, the privacy. They take into consideration the privacy of each. Uh, houses and uh, the connected with each other and the social relationship between the people who live there and this is the main house uh, in the marshes of uh, in the marsh land uh, which called al mudif it is built by uh, local materials and it's related to the uh, sumerian civilization uh, and the sumerian civilization uh, and as we, as we see in these pictures, this is the uh, women that bring the, the reeds and they put it together then and uh, created columns and built the, the motif and the, or the house. For, this is the interior design of the house. And we can see the engagement between people inside these houses uh, and also the fashion of uh, the, classic, the, the traditional fashion of this uh, area which is different than the other area, as I will uh, explain later. And we can see they wearing uh, this uh, kind of clothes and uh, the cover, uh, cover uh, the head cover, which is uh, uh, white and has a black spot. Uh, and I will mention in the next slide about the difference between uh, this marshes and the other uh, uh, built environment. And also we see, we can see here uh, the tools that used for the living. This is the traditional uh, refrigerators for, uh, for cold water uh, by clay, of course. And this is the, which is called head. This is one. And this is one is called a tenor. It is the traditional oven for bread as the, we see in this uh, for the woman that the, she uh, protected bread from uh, this one. And uh, in these pictures, we, we uh, see the main uh, food or main meal for the uh, people who live there. It is a fish and also the traditional, uh, the traditional boiler for the tea, uh, as we see there. And uh, at, uh, uh, as well as there is a, a traditional, uh, and they have traditional uh, a transportation, uh, which is called al mashhuf which is different than the other because they use it uh, to 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 move from uh, from uh, uh, from uh, place to another place uh, on the marsh. The second uh, built environment is the is called as where it is the west uh, of the Basra, as I as I mentioned before. It is the uh, desert environment and 
uh, by the way, uh, in the marshes, or the sustainability is a variable 100% because as we see, all the food and the, the traditional material, all them, they, they bring it from their built environment, from their environment itself. And also for Zubair, this one, also they are use the, uh, the, the own uh, materials uh, and their own uh, lifestyle also. For example, the, the, the house is here bolted from uh, clay. And we see this is, and we can see this, the style of the houses, the sold uh, external wall. And also this part is, uh, this parts with, uh, which is uh, using for the, it's called Badger, which is using to bring the coal, uh, air to the houses because the, 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 that's the, the summer there's a harsh climate the degree it reaches about 55 degree in summer during the uh, July and August uh, during this time for example so it reached about 55 degrees so there is a, a traditional way to uh, to to make the to comfortable the climate inside their houses and this Pictures also when she mentioned to the, uh, the narrow LA and the closed LA and also very narrow to shaded the the the, the way because the, for the pedestrians that use this uh, LA and also this uh, the arc the traditional arc that's built by clay as well. Uh, the social relationship is very strong in this city. Uh, look like the marshes as well. And there is many events and equations, uh, social uh, equations, like, uh, for example, this one is called the uh, Eid breakfast. It is the first uh, morning on the first day of the Eid festival after Ramadan. They bring all together, they bring their uh, food on the street and share each other the food outside uh, in the neighborhood. Also, they have uh, that uh, uh, they have uh, on their own uh, transportation, as we see in the marshes. But here is different, uh, different tools or different means for transportation here. And uh, the, they have also traditional uh, games, especially for children. And the different fashion, as I mentioned before, there here in in, in this uh, area. There is a different fashion, as we see the, the, the head covered hair, either red in the winter or a pure white at the summer. So they are different than the marshes that we mentioned. And we see, we can see the uh, solidity out of uh, the, and the external elevation to bring more privacy for the family inside the house. And also, there is uh, they have uh, crafts uh, like this one. It is the uh, traditional uh, slippers, uh, which is uh, export uh, to uh, another countries of the Arabian Gulf, and it's very famous in in the area. Uh, the similarity between uh, Zubair, this is the west part, and the another country on the uh, Arabian Gulf, as I mentioned there, here in the pictures, and we can see it's very similar to the uh, uh, another country like Qatar, like Saudi, like Dubai, and like Kuwait, because they use the same materials, clay, and the same uh, style of it, of. Uh, of how of the tradition of elevations for example this the elements that they use for the uh, air color the same hair and in the in the kuwait for example the same uh, axis and the same la narrow la and the closed la always and same elements as well here for example the door between saudi and this house in zubair and the windows and the scale of the building and also the materials, as I mentioned that, uh, in addition to the Dubai as well. The third uh, built environment in Basra, it is the city center of Basra, it's called the old Basra neighborhood. It's established by uh, Ottoman uh, between 200 or 300 years ago. Uh, and it's established to be the government for Ottoman colonization at that time. 
So it has many houses for the Ottoman Wali, uh, the governor uh, of the Basra at that time, and his family, and his uh, friend, and his government uh, also. Uh, also, they have uh, it has a different uh, uh, style of uh, of architecture, different materials. They they use bricks, uh, yellow bricks, and they use. They use uh, uh, windows, wooden uh, window balcony, and wooden windows is called shanashil, as I, I will mention there. And also, they have uh, different and uh, uh, on uh, transportation. This one is is different than at what I mentioned in the in the in the marsh. This the, that one is called mashhub. This one called al balam al ashari or al migo. And it ha of the capacity, it's more than the, the the previous one, also. And it used motor, not by hand, for example. And this is the ground. This is the marine transportation, and this is the ground tra transportation. The the wooden bus, as they mentioned, uh, in the history of the city, and it's still existing now, working till now. The uh, also, the traditional uh, meal in Basra city is also depend on the fish, and they dry it under the sun. It's called al masmuta, and they eat it then. They dry it under the sun between uh, ten days to uh, to two weeks, and then they have it. Uh, traditional folklore also available in Basra, as we see in this picture. This is a, a very unique uh, uh, traditional dancing in Basra. It's different than all the side and all the uh, part of Iraq, and it's very close to the Arabian Gulf. And uh, the same, for the example, for the games, which are either for children or for the adults, and for the traditional cake, which is uh, make uh, one day or two days before the festival of the Eid, and so on. Uh, the style of Basra and the identity of Basra is based on the two styles, two different styles. The first one is the Ottoman period, which, as I told you, because it's starting 400 years ago, so they built the old city between uh, about 300 years ago. And uh, this is the city center, and they, they we can see they use the bricks, the, wild, the, wild, the yellow bricks, as we see, and very attached uh, houses, attached to other houses. And uh, the Shanashil is very famous in Basra. Even they, if it's used in Baghdad, but it's different. The Shanashil of Basra is different than the other that used in Baghdad, that used in Jeddah, for example, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, this is different in details. Yeah, maybe it's similar in the in the in the in the comprehensive show, uh, shapes, but it's different in details, and they use it. This Shanashil was was used to the uh, to bring more privacy. Uh, for the women, for example, this one, this, for example, this one is open, this one half open, this one closed 100%. They use it to uh, bring more privacy for the women at that time because uh, they want to uh, to see the, the street while at the same time nobody can see them from outside. And uh, this is the interior design of the of the traditional house in an old Basra city in the Ottoman uh, style. The uh, interior courtyard is available in all of these houses uh, for uh, two purposes. The first purpose for uh, to provide privacy for the family, and the second purpose to provide a comfortable environment inside the house, as we said and as we mentioned before. And uh, this is the traditional column, as we see, and decoration and the wooden de decoration, and at the same time, uh, bricks decoration outside for the external, for the entrance, and so on. And this is the neighborhood. This is the the the, the LA inside uh, the Basra city, and we see it's very narrow LA to, uh, and this is bring. Uh, uh, more social, strong social, uh, strong uh, relationship between the social inside the city and uh, make the people very closer to each other. The second uh, style it's, is the British uh, style, which is starting uh, in 1940, as we mentioned here, and. Uh, uh, Sorry, uh, 
the British troops is uh, entered Basra in, in 1940 in the, in the first worldwide world war, and they raised the, uh, their flag uh, on this building, or uh, it's called Al Qishla, the old Qishla in Basra. It was uh, the governor place of the Ottoman, and the British uh, raised their flag uh, on it in uh, 23rd of uh, October of November, as we as mentioned in this picture, 1914. And uh, during this time of the British, uh, they, 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 they bring their style from outside, from India, and from uh, most of the, of, the, of the soldiers' work was from India. And uh, some of them, the architects from, uh, uh, from, uh, from England. Uh, Wilson is the man uh, and this famous architect who worked in Iraq at that time. And uh, he built many buildings, sorry. He built many buildings uh, in, in Basra city. Uh, look like this one, the uh, administration of the ports. Uh, and for example, this one, the, oh, the old uh, uh, airport of Basra city now is uh, it's, it's used as a hotel called Shop Al Arab Hotel. And this one, the, uh, the fairest uh, school, uh, uh, secondary school in Basra at that time and many landmarks in the uh, open space on the square, for example, this one, which is represent the hut of the laborers and the marketing as well, and uh, so on. And this, this is the pictures uh, related to the, to the landmark of the memory of the so, uh, British soldiers who passed away during the First World War. Uh, as I mentioned, there are many houses inside Basra city related to the Ottoman period, uh, 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 about uh, 80, uh, 8,300 uh, 83 houses still existing now, some of them uh, honored by the government and the others uh, private houses, and, but most, most of them unfortunately in bad uh, situation now. And, the, the famous, for example, the sample, this is the sample of the houses, the famous houses in Basra. For example, this one is related to, uh, it's called a Sabah house, which is related to the uh, uh, Sabah family, the prince of the Kuwait nowadays. And uh, this one is uh, the Ottoman Wali house, which is the base and the houses of the uh, governor of the uh, Ottoman, uh, of the Basra as the Ottoman Biria. And this one for the Basha Ayan house, who was the representative of Basra and Iraqi Parliament uh, after 1921. And this one for an Naqib house, who was the first uh, home office uh, minister in the, in the Iraqi kingdom uh, government. And this one for a Sheikh Khaz Al house, who was the prince of the southern of the Iraq and the prince also of the uh, east, the southeast of the uh, of Iran at the same time. Uh, one of the most specific features, sorry, hello? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, one, of the uh, most uh, specific features uh, which distinguish Basra from other cities in Iraq and uh, in Arabian war, uh, countries as well. It is the uh, network or the grid of the rivers uh, in Basra. That's give the, giving the city the nickname, the Venice of the East at the mid of the last century. Uh, as we see in these pictures, in this map, old map of the Basra, there was uh, more than 300 uh, canals and uh, rivers shaping the network of the city planning. Uh, while unfortunately now there is no more than eight rivers, just eight rivers still existing now. Uh, the other rivers are unfortunately landfall and replaced with the streets. And this give the name, the, 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 the Basra, the name, the Venice of the East, because well, if we compare between this, this picture related to the Venice and this picture related to the Basra at that time, and they are, they are very close uh, 
uh, very similar uh, in the in the in the built environment at that time. Uh, this rivers uh, had a clear impact on the city identity and city planning because it's uh, uh, shaping the city uh, since the planning of the city uh, adopted network, network forms, uh, which is also different than the other cities, especially the Islamic city, which is uh, focused on the uh, on the mosque in the center and the others uh, really, uh, surrounding the mosque. Basra is different than this one. Basra is, was it was uh, adopted a network, a grid network, and uh, this one shaped the city different than the others. Uh, these rivers were was represented many many for many papers and represented many uh, climate solutions. For example, as we said, uh, the Basra is a harsh climate, especially at the at the, at the summer. So it was uh, provided a comfortable climate for the city, and also it is what was uh, using uh, as a view as a nice view, especially for the houses uh, close to the to these rivers. And the transportation was during uh, uh, by the river, according to the rivers. Unfortunately, most of the rivers had disappearing today, and just a few of them remaining. And there is uh, sometimes there is a silicon nowadays to also to landfill the rest of these rivers. Uh, the current situation: it will, we was speak about the. For example, the shiny history of the city and uh, the beautiful history of the city. Now, the current situation is very uh, different and it's very bad, as we see in these numbers of, uh, of, of photo of pictures. Uh, if we start from the marshes of the, the land marshes at the north of the Basra, because of the policy of the old government, uh, 1990, for example, they try to dry the, the, the this marsh, and uh, they uh, therefore they change the, the the river directions that feeding this this land, uh, and most of the area dried as we see in this picture. Uh, now they, the, the the government try to uh, to back it again, but it's still not uh, uh, enough, and we see about this houses. Most of the of the of the traditional houses, unfortunately, in Basra, especially in the city center of Basra, uh, demolished and uh, by the people, because there is a lack of awareness and there is no regulation and legislation uh, prevent them to do that. And uh, the, uh, as this will, many of these houses have a strategic uh, location at the city or at the center of the city, and the center of the city is very expensive now. So most of the owners and most of the people demolished this one and to build uh, towers or a new building. And uh, uh, every day we lose one uh, or more than one heritage uh, houses, uh, unfortunately. The river situation now is also bad, as we see in these pictures. The, they, the, uh, the rivers now is just used for the uh, uh, rubbish place, for example, or for the sewage, uh, for the sewage, and uh, there is no caring, there is no attention about the rivers of the city, uh, unfortunately. The landscape, the urban landscape, uh, there's a gap between uh, past and then the, the, the modern. There is very a huge gap between them, as we see in this uh, comparison between the old landscape and the new landscape. Uh, this is uh, a huge gap, huge gap uh, in, in the materials, in, in unity, in, 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 in colors, in the human scale, in everything. In, in all this, uh, uh, the new one is very uh, strange and alien for the city, while we can see the unity and the harmony on the uh, traditional landscape of the city. Most of the land, as I mentioned, as we see in these pictures, this is pictures on the city center of the Basra. Most of the of these houses demolished, unfortunately. And uh, 
just two two months ago, unfortunately as well, I want to mention this more. Just two months ago, there was the the old uh, school in Basra. It was built in 1917, so it's about 103 years old. Uh, demolished, as we see in these pictures, demolished to, to build a new mall because of its uh, strategic location on the city center and in Zubair city. And uh, we lost also very uh, traditional building. So the heritage decayed day after day. And if we ex uh, continue in this way, we will lose all the building during this, the short future, very, very, very close futures. Why uh, Basra has lost, uh, lost is its identity, is, is its famous and local identity. There is many challenges and there is many problems, there is many reasons uh, for that. The first one is the political uh, factors. Uh, Basra uh, is related to the wars. There are main, three main wars uh, during the last uh, uh, 30 or 40 years ago. The first one is starting in 1980 and still is about eight years. And Basra, as I mentioned at the beginning, is very close to the Iran. It was the, this war it was between Iraq and Iran. And Basra is very close to the Iran, just the river between them. So it was under attack every day by bombing and so on. And according to that, many buildings uh, demolished and uh, uh, many buildings also, there is no maintenance at that time for the building and uh, this affect the heritage. And also uh, the rest of this, uh, the, the, the another wars which start in 1990 with the Kuwait, and also Basra is very close to the Kuwait. It's border with the Kuwait, and it get uh, a huge impact, uh, bad impact in the in the heritage during this war. And the third one also in the uh, 90 and 2003, and also Basra. It was the first city because uh, the uh, uh, USA invasion uh, coming from the south, and it's starting from Basra city. So the wars. And the policy of the old government, and there is no uh, caring and attention for the heritage the, uh, during the 40 years ago, uh, affected the heritage and the identity of the city, of the local identity of the city at that uh, during this time. Uh, the second uh, factors uh, factors is the, uh, or the the economic factors. Uh, Basra is the rich city of the oil. It's uh, it's, it's, it's not restricted just for Iraq, but it's also for the uh, in the world wide. Uh, uh, it's about uh, eighty percent of uh, economic of Iraq depends of the, on the uh, oil of the Basra, and therefore uh, there is uh, more attention about the oil. Many and uh, most of the land, unfortunately, preserving for the futures uh, oil field and so on, uh, oil economy. So uh, there is no expansion on the in the city, and uh, at the same time there is uh, increasing of a population, uh, a high increasing of the population. So that make a very pressing, high pressing on the city center, which has uh, the old and uh, traditional building, and therefore the expansion of the city. There is no expansion of the city. So there is, they, they move to demolish the old city. The third one is the uh, awareness of the society. There is a lack of the awareness of the society uh, regarding the heritage and the, the, the traditional building. And most of uh, the building decay. And there is no regulation and registration to prevent them uh, or to force them to keep or to protect the heritage of the city. And this also related to the war because during the war, most of the original people and uh, local people of the Basra city left the city, uh, ran away from the war and uh, looking for the safe shelters out of the city for and the other cities in Iraq. And some of them uh, live in the other, can uh, other countries, for example, Kuwait and Saudi because uh, they have a connection and the family between them. And uh, because of the war take a long time, uh, so they don't, they haven't back again to the city. And after the war is finished, and because of Basra is the 
main city of the uh, the rich city and the port and the oil as i mentioned and another uh, industrial uh, in basra city so it's attract people from another cities to buy, to come to, to to work in basra and they bring <coughs> their family with them sorry it's finished time or i still i'm um, okay. sorry to put in uh, oh. it could wrap up in another 2 minutes because we have yeah, yeah, an open yeah. okay. uh, forum coming yeah. up in like yeah less uh, than the, yeah after the awareness the investment is a play uh, uh, thank you so much tom uh, investment also play uh, two rules uh, or two impact in the city a negative impact and uh, positive impact the positive impact uh, to as we see in another country how they the uh, investment in the heritage building but the bad impact and after the 2003 many many company have been coming to the basra and to carry out many uh, project in different sectors and as we see in the pictures um, unfortunately most of them they are very alien and they have their ideological from the outside and uh, foreign ideology ideological and they don't care about the history of the city and the uh, traditional identity of the city so the uh, result uh, as we see in this pictures it is far away from the city separate uh, therefore we have we have to need a, a, a guideline this is problem we we have to need a guideline to protect our identity and to protect our uh, cultural heritage and uh, tangible heritage as well and the guideline is much required now uh, and uh, for example miss my suggestion is that the guideline should be uh, at two levels for example architectural level and urban levels and uh, uh, it, it deals with the technical guidelines some of the point i mentioned there and also uh, some uh, advice uh, advisor for the professionals and some of them for the decision makers uh, thank you so much and i'm sorry for to, to get more time thank you